So fun fact, I actually went to the theaters a long time ago um, when I was a much younger kid. I actually went to the theaters to see this, uh, the Spiderwick Chronicles, um, and I was by myself. Uh, I was. It was actually probably one of the first films where I wasn't with a, a parent or somebody else. I was actually by myself. And I just remembered this, jeez, Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte played Mulgarath the ogre, and I just remembered this scene with him chasing Jared through the house, and he turns into a snake, and then he turns back into an ogre, and I just remember being so terrified that I was watching it like this, and like, it got so bad that I had to get up, and I walked to the, the, the door of the theater, and I just paced in that walkway there like I was like like peeking my head around the corner just hoping the scene would be over because I was so terrified of Mulgrath um with that being said welcome to YAN this is the trailer for the Spiderwick Chronicles let's watch it beginning whoa the house That's is the huge welcome to spiderwick whoa. oh okay this town is full of stories some are darker than others what kind of creatures lurking inside spiderwick is that jared and simon what a sprite why does he look like justice smith magical creatures are real is this happening? The world would be a better place without humans. That's why I'm going to continue. That's Mulgarai. I am starring. Find the invisible world. Is Lucinda? Everyone. But we're just kids. That's why you can succeed. Are you? Mallory, I think. The scene stone! Click clap. Roku. Wait, where's th where's Thimble Tack and Hog Squeal? Okay, well, I guess this is a teaser, so they're not gonna show all their cards first. But I I, I want my trailer number two, guys. I want Thimble Tack and Hog Squeal. Interesting. I hmm. Okay. You know what? I'm thinking we should break the trailer down. All right, that's what that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna break it down. This is a new beginning. Okay, so so first of all, the house a fresh start is huge. Like I don't even. It's funny. It's funny because like the the rate like the film like the house felt very like early Victorian. And I know that was a lot closer to the... Actually, by the way... <laughs> uh, I know you guys didn't see it, but I got my... If you... If, if you... You guys didn't think I was a Spiderwick fan, didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, this isn't quite Arthur Spiderwick's field guide, but this is kind of like a... a like a... Like a illustrated... A guide to the world of the Spiderwick Chronicles, narrated by Thimbletack. So it's got like a bunch of cool like stuff in it about like all of them and such. Uh, yeah, it's 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 cool. I'm probably gonna have to go through this again, uh, gearing up for this. But as I was saying, uh, if this is what the house is gonna look like, this feels very um, otherworldly, which I guess is the tone that they're going for, considering. I guess what they're saying is that Arthur Spiderwick designed this house in order to help study the fantastical creatures and the sprites and everything else that exists in the world. But he also built this house to help sort of maybe be like a vet or such. Um, 
it's an interesting design for the house. It's very different than what I was uh, expecting it to be. Welcome to Spiderwick. Whoa. Okay. Jer is okay. Is that Jared and Simon? Because I have thoughts and opinions. It's not the fact that okay. You know what? Let's keep going. Let's see if I can get a better picture of them. What the heck is Roku? I, this I have no idea. Full stories. Some are darker than others. That's yeah. Okay. I like this shot. This is a cool shot. Um, it's got. It's giving me Wednesday vibes actually from this shot. What kind of creature is lurking inside Spiderwing? I don't know who's talking. Wait a minute. I just realized, where's the dumb waiter? I know that Spiderwick had like a second, uh, like a, like a, he had a stair system or like a secret bookcase that led to his study, but I still want the dumb waiter. But then I also, like, are the, is Jared even gonna, if this is Jared, is he even gonna be able to fit in it? Okay, so that's the sprite. What? Looks really good. Okay, I, I gotta, I gotta pause this properly magical creatures okay so i'm guessing that's simon mallory behind him if this is them um you know what it's not the race isn't bothering me uh because as you probably wouldn't know like i'm not against race race swapping as long as it fits the the character and the story that you're telling my i i just don't know how i feel about the age because jared and simon were both nine in the books and mallory i believe was 13 uh or 12 uh and then in the movie i'm not sure how freddie highmore was i'd probably say he's probably like maybe 12 or 13 um and then mallory was maybe like 14 15 but it fit the context of the story. So maybe this will surprise me, but I, I, I'm still, I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm feeling about the age. Other, other than that, I mean, they look fine. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Who, okay. I keep, okay. Can we go back? Can we, can we, can we go back? No, 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 we can't go back. Okay, we'll go forward. The world would be a better place without him. Okay. So that's gotta be Mulgarath. Cause he's a shapeshifter so he's transforming and such this is a very good breakdown by the way going to conceal them. i don't know who these people are and i am starring is that tony ditchy and holly black that'd be really funny if it was <laughs> if those are the author uh, if those are the like authors just talking to us I i'm the invisible okay so that's got to be lucinda i think that's the 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 issue when you when you do it adaptations like this you're really kind of like is that that person i think that's that's got to be lucinda right because she's old it's the key to save everyone or is he arthur spider is he arthur spider kids are you okay first of all are you though but um yeah this is this is going very well that's why you can succeed that's got to be Mallory, because she's a fencer. Sure, whatever, sure. Coming out April, eh? Very nice seeing the seeing stone. Click, clack, watch your back. That's got to be Thimbletack. Like 100% that has to be Thimbletack. Okay, hmm. The invisible person. What the hell is Roku? <laughs> okay. Um, despite uh, small reservations in terms of uh, how the the I think it's just the the one thing that's that's holding me back from being all into this is because I'm not gonna lie, I haven't revisited Spider Man Chronicles in a very very long time. That being said. The ages are kind of throwing me. That being said, I'm all for a change as long as it suits the story that they're trying to tell. Um, 
I feel like fans who have read these books were getting, I really hope that we're, um, like this kind of doesn't get the, the, the Percy Jackson fan treatment where people really, really attacked that show for, for deviating it. I think if they're going to make changes, make changes which suit the story. And I feel like it did, but fans weren't happy with that. Um, that being said, everyone's entitled to their own opinions and thoughts and i'm willing to give this show a chance because i think it might surprise me and i hope it does the only thing that's besides the age thing that's bothering me is i'm worried because it was it was it disney that had this before and because i thought this was canceled i think it was disney uh that canceled this but it, it turns out that they had just sold the distribution rights to roku whatever the hell roku is and but then the thing that that's 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 got me worried, I guess is probably the best word, is why did they cancel it? Is it because you know, is it a write off like Batgirl, <laughs> poor Batgirl? But is it a case of Percy Jackson fear where they saw the, but then it, the cancellation happened before. Percy Jackson came out, so they couldn't have anticipated it. But it's like, part of me was wondering: is it, is it they panicked because they knew this was going to be so different from the books that they were like, eh, fans aren't really going to be happy with the race swapping, so let's just let's let's get her get her get you know away from it. But it's just I I don't know. There's so many thoughts and things to consider when you when you think about a show like this. That being said. I'm willing to get this a chance. I think the production value looks good. I'm, I'm still thinking about that house. That looks crazy. That's a crazy house. Um, I really want to see Thimble Tack and Hog School. And I'm going to miss... Uh, and I think this is just because of my love for the movie. I'm going to miss the fact that Hog School is voiced by Seth Rogen. Um, but that being said, let me know what you think about this trailer in the comments. Please be nice and concise and, and not mean. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe to YN, and I will see you all in the next trailer. Peace. Catch me if I fall.